What are you fucking nuts? <laughs> you thought? <laughs> you just... <laughs> oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now, today we're going to be talking about what's inside this box. Now, as most of you know, according to the thumbnail and the title, it is the actual Mezco figure based on Child's Play 2, that particular version of Chucky, and we're also going to compare it with this guy here. This one's from the Bride of Chucky, okay, along with the box and everything. So we'll make comparisons. Now, we'll get into this and we'll start talking about this here in a second, so hang in there. Okay, we're back. Now, I didn't pull it out of the box yet because I wanted to inspect the box. As I actually um, was watching this video from a YouTuber who bought the same thing, but apparently she got it from a different um, dealer. And apparently when she got it, the box was, in fact, damaged, along with some discrepancies with this particular box. And then upon taking it out of the box, she found out that the actual um, voice activation for this particular doll does not work so she had to send it back and what they did is they refunded her money and pretty much told her look if you want to buy another one just go ahead and order it straight through uh, you know our store and obviously for obvious reasons she had a bad vibe about the company so she's probably going to get it somewhere else okay but anyway long story short we're going to talk about the box and then I'm going to pull the things out of the box and then eventually we are going to do a comparison between the Bride of Chucky and Child's Play 2 version of Chucky, okay? Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and shut that off. Okay. Now, push that back. We're going to inspect the box here. And we're going to do this together, guys, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it on the side here, okay? Now, obviously this box is in pretty decent uh, condition. There's no discrepancy so far that I've seen, okay? Alright. Okay, that's Child's Play 2. This is where he cuts off the, uh, the Jack in the Box's um, head. And that's part of Child's Play 2, the actual poster version. Now, I'm not seeing any damages here, okay? It looks pretty decent so far. Alright, and that's the side of the box. So what we're going to do is kind of check out the box art at the same time, look for the discrepancies, okay? Alright, this is the top of the box. Now I will tell you this about these Mezco figures. They are absolutely amazing. I do like them. Okay, the actual full-size version of Chucky, the, uh, the good guy doll, is literally $600 on Trick or Treat Studios. That is too expensive for a doll. No offense. I don't care what kind of doll it is. Um, when it comes to these uh, type of dolls, no, not $600. Not worth it. Not in my opinion, anyway. It's just too much money. And they're trying to make profits off you guys because they know you guys like these kind of things. Horror is very cool in its own way. All right. And that right there, Power Surge at play powers corporation has breathed new life what did i say into okay into chucky's reassembled remains okay cool all right sorry jack chucky's back all right but anyway um when it comes to uh, actually reading this stuff and like i said in my other videos i just had retina surgery done on my eyes so they're slowly getting there, but according to my doctor, it could take up to a year for it to fully recover. Because there was scarring in the, uh, the right eye, so obviously I can't read that well unless I you know, play around with it. Because it seems like I'm 
you know, kind of blind, but it is what it is. All right, well, that's from Mezco Toys, okay. And right here is that label. But the box in itself is in pristine condition. And it also depends on what store you get it from. Apparently that um, YouTuber, she got hers from, or somebody actually did something with it, because there was a crease and everything in hers. It's like somebody literally stepped on the box, okay. It's just ridiculous how they... Uh, uh, handle these uh, particular things, especially the money that you put into these things. They need to be perfect, okay? Damn near perfect. It's, you know, it's like $110 for these things, and somebody's stepping on the box? Come on. That's not right. All right, now you can see what it looks like in the package. All right. All right, enough about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it down, and I'm going to pull it out of the box, and eventually we're going to do the review on it, Show you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Nine times out of ten, there isn't anything I don't like about these figures because they're really cool looking, okay? Uh, and we'll get into that and then we'll do the comparison between the uh, Bride of Chucky and this version here. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back and I got to tell you a story. I was taking uh, Chucky out of his box and one of the plastic pieces was sitting in front of the box and I pushed it a little bit. And it knocked my camera onto the ground. The battery fell off. Uh, the lamp or the actual flash for it. It's more like a, like a headlamp for it. That, that came off and it's like, oh my God. I hope I didn't destroy my camera. So I put everything back together nervously. And then I finally flipped open the, um, the, uh, the side panel. And it worked fine. So I was like, woo. Let me tell you, that was a major relief, okay? Because the camera cost me like $800. And I was like, yeah, I don't need this thing being broke. But anyway, right here, this right here is Chucky. It's from Child's Play 2. It's actually from the movie Child's Play 2. Okay. In the first movie, he was burnt to a crisp, I believe. It's been a while since I've seen him. Um, um, as you can clearly see... He's very cool looking. He's got a lot more hair than the one from the Bride of Chucky. But obviously the Bride of Chucky one, uh, he went through some major fanage, if that makes any sense. And got sliced and diced because of the blades. Uh, but he was put back together again and voodoo spell, bang, he came back. But anyway, this is uh, the Child's Play version, Child, Child's Play 2. What are we going to do here is it does come with different accessories. We're going to talk about the accessories here. And I'm going to show you the actual um, the material, how it's made and everything. And I'm going to put that knife right in there. There, there it is. Alright, so let's get into the accessories. It comes with a knife, as you can clearly see. I just put it in there. You can switch out the hand. With the uh, other hand, uh, it's a dagger. It's, you kind of just stuck it in to the cut hand, cut part of the hand. Okay, and that's what you're seeing right now. But anyway, you can switch it out with the real hand, and he has his uh, dagger or his knife in this case. Now the one in, um, I'll show you the difference between them. The one in Bride of Chucky, the knife is a little bit different. Okay. Well, anyway, let's get into this here real quick. And let me adjust this so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay. All right. And yeah, the knife is really cool looking. Turn it around. And like I said, it does come out. Say, it is two separate accessories for, for this particular dial. Like I said, you can switch out the hand with this one here. And just kind of put these together. You can go this way with it and get Okay, but anyway, the hand itself is a thick, hard plastic. Okay, so it's most likely when you pull the knob off or the nub or the, this, the knife part of it, um, it's going to have like a little, I don't know, like a locking hub or something for this thing. If that makes any sense, like a ball joint. We're gonna, I'm not going to pull it apart because I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to show you what he looks like up close and personal, and then we're going to jump into the comparisons. But anyway, that is what it looks like up close. Okay, enough about that. So now what I'm going to do is shut this down. Mm -hmm. 
and we're going to get into Chucky here. Now this particular Chucky has very nice looking hair. As you can see, it's nice and fluffy here. Okay. You can spike it out, make him look crazy if you like. Alright. But it does have a lot of hair. Okay. The face is absolutely amazing. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. He got blood off his lip, probably because he got punched in the nose. No, it's okay. I'm sure something happened to him. It's been a while since I've seen these movies. But um, when Amazon was selling it, they were selling it a little bit cheaper than Big Bad Toy Store. So I was like, yeah, let me get this dang thing. I only needed two of these guys here. All right, kid. Oops. The fun's over. That's right. We'll show you the sound effects here in a second, too, okay? But anyway, that's what the face looks like. It's very cool. Articulation wise on this thing, the head does move, okay? It doesn't really move up and down so much as it does side to side, okay? The actual uniform, like I said, we'll do a comparison. It's very similar to the other one here, except the other one, obviously, he got torn apart, so it's tattered and torn, okay? But this one's fully intact, as you can see. Okay, and that's the good guy dolls. I don't know if they got the actual one. Yeah, it does. Okay. Check the bottom of that. That's cool. Really cool. The arms move up and down just like your traditional doll. The hands do move from side to side. Elbow does not bend, okay? But it does move at the shoulders. Same with this one here, okay? Except this one does not have... Um, a hand which I can switch out and it'll be a full-size doll okay now they say when it comes to looking at this it's not very realistic and a lot of people would stand there and repaint these things and reclay them but that's fine for me okay I got no problem with it All right. and that's this whole uniform right there guys the shoes a lot of people are like disappointed at the fact they're not real shoelaces, but this is a doll. It's not supposed to be too realistic in nature, in my opinion. Um, but then you're getting into higher pricing if you want more detail, okay? Okay, but the colors on these things are very traditional. As you can see, the shirt. All right. And like I said, he's got a lot of hair, so we can do a lot with this guy here. All right. Okay, so now what we're going to do now, oh, the uh, continuing the artic articulation, the legs do move from side to side. So do the feet from side to side, okay? So keep that, and it does not bend at the knees, so don't even try that, okay? Don't make that attempt. No, it's messing. All right, but anyway, let's get into the sound effects of this guy. Right, so let's get it right down. Let me find the button. I shall find it. I think I just said. Ready? You know what they say. Oh. I stopped working. Okay, hang on for a second. I'll be right back. We're going to see what's going on with it. Okay, we're back now. I will tell you this. The actual switch needs to be switched up and down. It is a little tricky. I think there's probably a short in this thing. But it does work for the most part, and you're going to listen to the sound effects now. <laughs> now, compared to the Bride of Chucky, his laugh is a little shorter than this one here. All right, kid. Fun's over. Well, you know what they say. You just can't keep a good guy down. That's Brad Dourif. He does the voice of Chucky in all the movies. And obviously they incorporated it, and it sounds fantastic. If you do want to purchase this and you want to listen to it, it does sound just like Brad Dareff, so keep that in mind. I hate kids. Don't we all? <laughs> if I don't get out of this body soon, I'll be trapped in here. He panics in that movie. Playtime's over. Oh.
Now towards the back it does have an alternate switch which in most cases they switch it down so you only get to hear two um, you know two particular um, quotes which we're going to do right now. So it goes right back to the aisle left. But if your switch is straight up, there's three settings. You, you switch it straight up, obviously you get all the rest of them. But if you put it in the middle, right there, it does not work. It shuts it off. So keep that in mind, guys. If you want it uh, not to run the battery down, I think it does take uh, uh, watch batteries, the little round button type batteries. It takes three of them, I think. I'm not positively sure. But anyway, this is my Child's Play 2 version of Chucky. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the differences between the one that I got here and the Bride of Chucky. Alright, so with that in mind, we're going to show you different variations of it. And we're going to bring him in to the mix. And you're going to listen to his sound effects as well, okay? Now this one here works really good. So what I'm going to do here, before we get into this, I will be right back. I'm going to set them up on the uh, stand here. Now as you can clearly see, they are roughly around the same height. Except because uh, Child's Play 2 version has a little bit more hair. So he's a little bit more fluffier, but they are in fact the same height. Now you'll notice in the uniform, as the one that's coming through is the Bride of Chucky. It is tattered and torn only because it got sliced and diced with the fan in part three. And this is part four, okay? But pretty much outside of that, other than his face being heavily scarred, uh, they are pretty much the same, okay? Uh, with the exception of the accessories, obviously. But as you can see, he does have an amazing face on this one there. Now I got two Mezco figures. I, I'm, I know there's um, other ones out there, but I don't think I'm going to collect any of those. But these two are my all-time favorite because I like the looks of the Child's Play uh, 2 ver uh, version only because of his facial features and obviously the Bride of Chuck because of the way he looks. Very cool looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this down, show you the Bride of, uh, not the Bride, yeah, the Bride of Chucky, and listen to the sound effects on that. So, all right. There. Okay, now, a knife on this bad boy. All right. Okay, I'll give you a close up now. Like I said, I had the other video with this, uh, pretty much telling you what I like and what I don't like. And there's nothing about these things I don't like, except for the part two there, uh, Child's Play two. That version of Chucky, the uh, soundboard. I think it's got a short in it, but like I said, if you switch it back and forth, it might correct itself. And it's working for the most part. And when I was mentioning um, the uh, particular YouTuber who had a flawed one, hers didn't work at all, okay? So she obviously sent hers back. But anyway, this is what he looks like. Okay. I don't have a problem with killing. I like a little killing now and then. What's wrong with that? <laughs> See how short that is? Compared to the first one. Now that one don't have that one, but this one does. That's cool. Now the first thing we gotta do is get me out of this body once and for all. Absolutely. A true classic never goes out of style. Get off my knife. <laughs> But outside of that, that's the sound effects for these guys. Uh, like I said, if you switch it down, obviously you're only going to get two different quotes for both of them because they're pretty much the same, with the exception of the head and you know slight differences between the uniforms and stuff. So with that in mind, let's get them close together here. Now those are my Chuckies, guys. Okay. Now most likely what you're seeing right here will be the thumbnail because I like the way they look. Okay. Okay, and they 
uniform in itself. Uh, like I said, this one here is not too bad, but you can see it's scuffed and worn right here. Right through here. He's all scratched and torn up a little bit. This one here is still intact for the most part. But the uniforms are pretty much the same. Okay. The shoes are obviously the same. Okay. All right, that's pretty much it in the nutshell, guys. These are my Chuckies, and I do love these Chucky dolls. I'd love to get me a get a hold of the Trick or Treat Studios version of the Good Guy doll, and it comes with the yellow box and everything. But they're just way too pricey. Now, these guys are moderately priced, okay, but they're very cool looking, okay. They're not 100% movie accurate, but when you look at them, you know for a fact that they are in fact Chucky, okay? Especially this guy here. He's got some cool hair, okay? <laughs> but anyway, let's get into some more sound effects with this guy. See? It stops working. So maybe I did shut it off. Hang on. Get the uniform out the way. Yeah, I did shut it off, okay. Okay, here we go, guys. Longer laugh. All right, kid. Fun's over. But you know what they say. You just can't keep a good guy down. Let you see how really realistic in some aspects that those eyes are. The light blue. They really stand out. I hate kids. If I don't get out of this body soon, I'll be trapped in here. Playtime's over. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're thinking about purchasing these things and you don't mind paying over a hundred dollars for them, okay. All right, right. Anyway, they are worth it in my opinion, and they look very cool just standing on top of these boxes here, which I'm going to show you. All right, anyway. Pull that back a bit. These boxes right here, okay. I usually let just uh, pretty much lean them against the shelf and have them standing on it. They look really cool, okay. But anyway, that's pretty much it in a nutshell when it comes to these two figures here. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos once I get some more stuff in. Uh, but in the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good night and I'm hoping that you enjoyed this particular video because I I did. So, like I said, the one thing I didn't like about the uh, Chucky thing is probably because it's still new. Uh, you keep switching it back and forth. It should probably work itself out. And I hadn't had a problem with it this last time, so that's good. So it might work itself out. But anyway, have a good night, guys. All right, thanks. Bye.